traveling in mid-September on a dead road and with a good friend of mine, there is only one destination we could be heading. And that, that's the Red Deer Rat. Y en la lata móvil. <laughs> Gredos is well known for the ibex hunting opportunities, but in the same mountain range and at the same elevation, there is some of the most beautiful red stack hunting opportunities you can find in Spain. For me, it's a very special time of the year, as we typically get to hunt with a bunch of friends. Some of them only come to be part of the adventure, they don't even hunt, but just sleeping in the mountains and hearing the stacks roaring around you is worth the hike. Finally, the Red Deer Roar is here. We are in the Gredos mountain range in Spain. We're gonna be hunting for a couple of days. We sent uh, a team with the horses and tents and all that to take all the heavy stuff to camp. That way we can hunt this afternoon towards the camp area. And it's pretty hot, pretty hot. There's still not much movement yet, but hopefully we'll get to see something. It's exciting time of the year. We gain elevation and slowly get into the hot spots. Stacks will typically tend to roar in similar territories every single year, and the previous experience of Alberto in this area position us on what it seems to be a very promising spot. split into teams and we're gonna wait for the afternoon to see if some animals move. We need to be positioned and without moving because as soon as the animal starts moving, if we move they're gonna see us so we're gonna grab a position, a good position where we can glass a lot of country and wait.
early on the rut, the roar might be a little bit slower, but as the stacks are still trying to figure out their spots and securing their hinds, they can be more responsive to the calls. With a nice looking stack bedded, we sneak quietly into range. We know where the stack is, and there is a possibility of getting closer, so roaring at this point is a risk that doesn't have any single advantage. I typically don't like stalking bedded animals, as they don't have anything else to do than look for danger. The stack is still at around 600 meters, and as it stands up, we decide to make a move. With the thermals about to change, we use the sun on our back and the ground cover that we have to keep shortening the distance as much as we can. As the stack starts heading away leaving the hinds behind, we make one last quick move and get set to call him in. The females are alone between us and the stack. We can get any closer and the stack keeps walking away. We need to do something. I try to imitate another stack getting inside the, his territory, looking to steal his females. The stack doesn't like that another male is coming and turns around to protect his hinds. The plan worked perfectly. It slowly comes our way, but we just need him a little bit closer. <laughs> the 
the temptation to shoot the stack right there is big, but I want to make sure I make the best shot possible. I need the stack to get to 300 meters, where I feel really confident. Perfecto, perfecto el tiro, perfecto. Sí, sí, la farosilla al menos va a caer ahí. Quieto, está en el arroyo metido. Va a salir al claro ahora. Ah, ¿qué tengo? Vale. ¿Otro, eh? Vale. ¿Qué tienes, Javi? Sí, sí, lo tengo. Yo por lo menos. El que se cae ahí, ¿eh? Eso se para de tiro, ¿eh? Vale, ahí está 310, ¿eh? Me ha dado, ¿no? Me ha dado, ¿no? Está ahí, al lado de la izquierda, 300... We have been the whole afternoon, we spotted this bull 600 meters away and after one hour he finally he was leaving, I called him in and he came from 400 to 300 meters and we made an awesome shot and he died right there so beautiful stack, can't thank Alberto, yeah? <laughs> enough. I'm Beautiful. exhausted, it has been a long. A lot of a lot of waiting. Honestly, I couldn't have asked for a more beautiful experience. The place, the stock, the company, to call the stag in and to top it off with a clean shot, everything worked perfectly. Beautiful boy. It is really hard to beat the feeling of harvesting a mature mountain stack. Even sometimes, things may work out great and it looks even easy to do, but in my opinion, it is the hardest animal you can hunt in Spain. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. We finally made it to camp. 11.30. Quarter to 10. <laughs> well, quarter, to, quarter to 12, sorry. Yeah. Quarter to 12. Almost midnight. Uh, have been exhausting, huh? You got it, no? You got I, got it, I got it, I got it. Congratulations. 
Bandmannsheil. Bandmannsheil. Bandmannsheil, mein Freund. Thank you. Heil ist gut. Congratulations, Mr. Cooker. Mr. Cooker. Now is, now is my time. I have to cook yeah. some, some yeah. dinner. Let, All right? Let's cook something. See with you this, later. We deserve it. Being in the mountains under a sky full of stars while serving fresh meat as we tell stories and solve world's most important problems are the type of memories that will last a lifetime. Thanks for joining us and until next time.